All right, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell. I guess we'll do uh, another comment reply video since I'm a bit behind. It says seven on the YouTube thing, but it's showing possibly more than that. Eight, I guess. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. So, all right. So, uh, if you haven't seen the uh, contest yet Mormons go to the contest video if you don't like my videos go to the contest and try your luck prove the church is true and uh, if you win I'll shut up and leave the church alone and cower in my apartment in shame but if I win and you can't do it you must leave Leave the church. Get out. That's the contest. Try your luck. How do you go from six? What are you talking about, Frank? Uh, how do you go from six? Capitalize six. So I don't know what you're talking about, Frank. All right. Oh. Okay, you edited it. How do you go from six towers to only two towers? What are you talking about? Probably the Russian temple has two towers. Whatever. So apparently, Frank, you don't know about Mormon temple design. It's always based on an architect who's uh, hired by the church. And uh, he does several different blueprint picture plans and presents them to the church. and they approve or disapprove and so yeah that's why there's different styles and types they no longer follow the Salt Lake Temple pattern <clears throat> so all right oh when pigs fly He's arguing with me over uh, classical history of, of ritual. Uh, uh. Yes, but I think the selling of animals for sacrifice proposes, purpose, proposes and the temple tax were two different operations. No. Go back and read the scripture that I put on the screen. Connection is that to perform either required that any variation foreign currencies be converted into Tyrian shekel, blah blah blah. Don't quote secondhand sources. Uh, I guess I was alluding to the Mormon conflation of the temple tax with tithing. That's what I told you, which is a third independent issue. Various passages in the Bible indicate that one tenth was to be given in the form of livestock and produce, not money. You know, the Levites since they're you know, <sighs> why do you people think you can make scripture explain me? <sighs> it's exactly like when I went to the church and said, Hey, I've got this new theory for the origin of uh, Paleo-Hebrew, our alphabet. Uh, is there any more information you have on Joseph Smith's translations? And uh, 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 F. Michael Watson, secretary for President Hinckley, uh, responded saying, I have full authority to respond to you, and I went to BYU where I have a friend 
and he told me this is the tradition. <laughs> I know the tradition, people. God, dumb, dumb, dumb. You just go on and on, pigs. Pig. That's when pigs fly. That's his channel name. <sighs> Not even going to bother to respond. Alrighty. And Christina Ostel. Uh, she's not quite understanding what I'm talking about. But here she says, okay, members can have better sense can think me being special and worthy for the Lord, not their pockets. <sighs> Did you guys see the Orville last night? That was a good show. About the time capsule from 2015. <laughs> it had the obsolete cell phone technology. We need something better and then a communication tool called texting. I was wondering if there was a, a dictionary for text messages, text words or something. Let's see. Dictionary of text words. PDF. Ah, here we go. Text message abbreviations, PDF 3088KB, Bloomsbury International. It's only six pages. <laughs> um, hmm. Here we go. Top 40 text and chat abbreviations. Oh, best friend forever. I had something else on that one. <laughs> huh. And then an exercise. Okay, so it's only the top 40. But it's a start that'll help me figure things out. And it is now in my possession. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we have MD, and she's back with full of vengeance. Big long paragraph here. Okay, first off, I was stunned when you mentioned in another video that when employed with Beehive Clothing, they offered to deduct tithes from your paycheck. Damn, that's slimy, lol. I care about your other stuff. The Paleo-Hebrew stuff? Really? Hmm. Well, you'll have to ask more about that, MD. Government stuff, Egyptian stuff. So it's not entirely true that nobody cares. <laughs> yes, it is, it is unsound of me to say nobody. <laughs> And so, actually, what I mean by nobody is the majority of my views are from uh, <clears throat> Mormon on YouTube. And on Amazon, it's for Paleo-Hebrew. Yes, there are lots of others, but the majority of royalty is from Paleo-Hebrew. And the website, as I look through the stats, it's government and... Uh, Egyptian whenever I throw that on there <laughs> so that's how I, how I do it I have different websites there are different places different sites for different things that I do because nobody goes to one site <sighs> Jeez. 
just so dang much to care about. I don't think I've ever mentioned what sparked my initial interest in ancient Egyptian. No. Please tell me more. I am in the field of cancer research, you know. Trying to write a book on the history of cancer research, you know. And what can be learned and applied from it. The oldest known written records on cancer research are Egyptian. Uh-huh. Uh, medical documents. They were not simply detecting and treating cancer many thousands of years ago, they were experimenting and tracking treatment outcomes just as we do today. I cannot decide. I think you meant decipher ancient Egyptian, so I have to fall back on other people's interpretations of this research. I can teach you Egyptian. It's real easy. Uh, but it is said that they treated cancers much like we do today. I was actually working on a lesson manual for Egyptian and then got distracted. Uh, but it is said that they treat, uh, let's see, they treated drugs, they treated the surgical procedures to extract it, and then even acknowledged that about 30% cure rates were attributed to the uh, 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 sorry did I mention it's 1 30 in the morning mystic modalities spirit spells prayers magic spontaneous healing etc real cool stuff yes so I think one of my big interests at the moment is learning more about these peoples <laughs> and cultures and belief and understanding more about their understanding of disease detection and treatment. Have you noticed how many tangents and directions my brain tries to go? I just saw one. <laughs> Egyptian medical field. And how often I start yiping about one topic and then take a hard turn to delve into another topic. It's exhausting. <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna reply so that you make sure that if you don't hear this video you'll get my re reply. I can teach you Egyptian, you know. And I can provide you the ancient documents to translate from once you learn because yeah it was my intention that uh, to do a whole bunch of lesson manuals and that's why you'll see a lot of beginner books that I tried working on I uh, knowing that people just don't know uh, the ancient languages uh, and and current scholarship is confusing you guys with incorrect information and so uh, it was my intention to do step-by-step -step learning uh, so a lesson at a time in a book form uh, and so Unfortunately, there were people that were commenting on my picture books. <laughs> Where are the words? <laughs> Even with picture book in the title, they still wanted words. <sighs> and so, yeah, I, I was going to do uh, a whole research and alphabet and grammar and vocabulary for uh, not just Paleo-Hebrew, uh, but uh, uh, Paleo-Greek, 
Uh, and, and then I can do Hebrew, I can do Biblical Hebrew, I can do uh, Greek uh, and, and uh, Aramaic and Egyptian. So I was planning on doing all different stuff and Amazon being a free service, just need 24 pages minimum to uh, publish a book and uh, turns out that Kindle doesn't <laughs> read the fonts <laughs> and they don't they deny PDFs so you're forced to use uh, the uh, word and so yeah and I then had to go back and cancel all those uh, and then uh, had to redo what I could uh, using pictures and so I was trying to figure out how do I make a picture of the fonts because I couldn't find the fonts online to download into my thing for uh, the other fonts the Egyptians the toughest because I eventually find found uh, Gardner's fonts uh, but uh, it's not available in the the font to put on your typing keyboard thing like I had way back in the day on the 3x5 disc so yeah very upset with my dad uh, there is no forgiveness for what my parents did to me uh, but uh, yeah So, yeah, that was my intention, but then I got caught up on other uh, fields of study and and started doing those books. And and uh, then I found out, oh, it's the end of the world. <laughs> I better get to warning people. And uh, so that's what I've been doing is warning people. So once we get all this junk settled get the church destroyed and replaced and get the government restored and replaced or destroyed and replaced and I can relax and go back to my origins of ancient languages <laughs> and my game I invented a board game and I haven't been able to get to that either so all right Okay. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna have to watch me yawn throughout this video. Unless you're like MD who listens to me while she works. All right, here we have Artifact Hunter. He's a new guy, and he's on one of my older videos. Uh, that's doing at 3.4 thousand. Uh, last I saw. All right, uh, I've tried to teach this to Mormons, and it does not work because they believe in progressive truth. <laughs> That's a new name for it. The impossible gospel is the, <laughs> is the other word that this other Christian used on his video. I used to be a Mormon and my whole family are still Mormons. Sorry for that. Praise the Lord for the truth. I am now a born again Christian. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> Again, Christians are progressive truth. So, but thanks for stopping by. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Shared. I thought you unsubscribed, John. What are you doing back? Uh, 
So apparently he got around to reading some of my other, or watching some of my other videos and got around to the real LDS Church Carthage conspiracy. And, uh, and so he shared it. Welcome back, John. And whitewashed LDS Mormons. I'm mixed race with Filipino and white. No, whitewashed was not referring to race. I hope you're not going there, Christina. My daughter was black in her also. She knows that the members are racist because they tend to stare at her and me. <sighs> no, whitewashed has to do with the inner soul. The scripture I used on that has to do with uh, the whitewashed sepulchers of the Pharisees. That's what Jesus likened them unto. You know, you, you have the sepulchers and you have to whitewash them uh, so that you get the bird crap off of them and, and you keep them white and shiny. Uh, but inside, and they're dead bodies, rotten dead body corpses and rottenness as Jesus talks about and uh, and that's what I was trying to say with with Mormons so it has nothing to do with race you know I even use the the uh, Phantom of the Opera mask because uh, you know the, there's symbolism when I use these things so don't don't go down the racial hole. We all know the church is racist. All right. So I guess that's it. Oh, um, it's me, Jess. Jesse did a video 12 hours ago. And uh, she did it on... Uh, uh, Freemasonry, Satanism, and one other thing, I can't remember which, maybe it was just Mormonism, uh, but uh, uh, she's got some information, she's done her research, uh, but I tried to let her know without, without uh, being condescending. Uh, and I do it on my video channel all the time. Uh, just because you find something out, one thing, does not make the whole picture come into view. For example, the the star on the Nauvoo Temple, or was it the Kirtland Temple? Could have been both. Nauvoo Temple, I think, especially. There's the pentagram on the back doors, I think the back side the inverted pentagram you know just like the Republican Party used they now switched it it's the inverted pentagram people are wondering why are they changing it what's going on <laughs> and if you all if you only assume that the inverted pentagram only refers to Satanism as the goat beast you know, the horns and the, and the goatee of the goat. Uh, you're you're going to get lost. You're going to go in the wrong path. Uh, you're not looking at the whole picture. Uh, and, and so I, I listened to her video, of course, because uh, uh, I like her style. Uh, but she's making rookie mistakes. And uh, I don't know how to tell her that because uh, she never consulted me when she asked me for some sources for some other information and uh, uh, yeah instead she went on her own path and didn't want to consult me any further thinking she knew better I guess but uh, yeah she was using second-hand source information uh, rather than primary source documents for example Fawn Brody 
uh, No Man Knows My History. Uh, that's a secondary source material. And the sources that Von Brody talks about are also secondary sources. So Von Brody is technically a thirdary source. Because when you look at the sources, you realize, oh, it's people who are making accusations against Joseph Smith, and that Von Brody was therefore assuming the big picture when people make their accusations. Well, they made an accusation? That means this whole picture! <laughs> no! No, guys, that's not how you do research. you got to look at the big picture. And so, Mormons, you got to know your history. you got to know the big picture if you're going to enter my contest on that other video. Because you're going to get blown out. If uh, you think you can use the church's standard works of Joseph Smith history to prove the church is true, or quote from the Book of Mormon if you think the church is true, you're, you're going to automatically lose. Those are unsound arguments. So, sorry, can't use those. So there's some clues to help you along so that you can win. <laughs> you're not going to win, guys. I have the testimony, a real testimony. You don't have a testimony. You just have faith in the wrong knowledge, which means it's false faith, or as Moroni put it, vain faith. You, you don't know about that? What? It's the final war, and uh, Moroni is uh, praying to the Lord that the uh, hearts of the Nephites that are left will change. And then he is pondering about it and realizes, my prayer's in vain. These guys are past feeling. They're too hardened. So is Mormonism. Okay, so... That's that for that. And yeah, still thumbs down. Don't put thumbs down. That's not going to win your argument. That's not going to win. That's unsound. You can't do thumbs down. You have to comment to prove the church. You have to give an argument, a sound argument. You can't just go on there and put a thumbs down. <laughs> That's not proof. <laughs> Advertisements. This is a communications tool, Google. You have all sorts of other places to do advertising. Stay out of Gmail. I was perfectly fine and happy with the old Gmail. Even the uh, Gmail page for me. You know, I was able to see how many people were viewing my page and uh, able to do things knowing that people were actually viewing my page. And then they changed that so I couldn't see who's viewing my page anymore. I couldn't keep up with the statistics. So if I can't keep track of statistics, there's no point in using it anymore. So I never bother with Google anymore. So my YouTube videos, if they get saved to Google, I don't know about it. I don't care. Uh, nobody contacts me through Google anyway, except for uh, money diggers who think that I, for some reason, have money. So these women have to do their research. She would know. <laughs> Two divorces? No, I am not wealthy. So okay, I don't owe any money, but. The damage is done. All right. Depeche Mode, lie to me. Tell me you love me. Say I'm the only one. And I don't see anything in the news saying that we've all been destroyed. 
and Brexit's possibly been postponed. CNN. Star athlete speaks out after photo controversy. Uh, it's a soccer player, but then I'm seeing a boxer with the. I don't know what that's about. And then Cooper. I wish this story would go away. It's sickening. Which story is sickening? They're all sickening. Uh, late night with Stephen Colbert. That's three days ago. We need last night. And there's Jess. Let me see if I can find the title for you. We'll go to her site. Huh. She doesn't have playlists. How oh, interesting. Okay. She's got 908 subscribers. And it was cool. She had her, you can hear her little kids playing in the background in this recent video. The Dark History of Mormonism. LDS secrets, Freemasonry, the occult, and Satanist symbols. So, the occult, that's what I was looking for. Joseph Smith and the Golden Plates, the real story. Did I see that one? Was that the one that I was commenting on? I think so. Hmm. She doesn't have very many videos. She's brand new to this. That's interesting. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 17 videos. Three months ago is when she started. Huh. Okay. Those prophecies, Mormon impossibilities. Brigham Young taught that Adam was God. Mormon lies, Book of Abraham is a fake. I believe I commented on that. Joseph Smith's first vision, who's the Mormon God, blood atonement and racism, secrets the LDS won't tell you, Mormons deny the virgin birth, yes, ours is the incest birth, uh, progression of LDS teachings, and that comes from the ancient Egyptians who started it, that's why it's in the New Testament, but, uh, they didn't want to have any kind of association with incest, so they made it a virgin birth. Immaculate conception. And then Madonna went and titled her thing. Which is very strange, Madonna. She has, like, a virgin touched for the very first time, but then has the immaculate album <laughs> I don't understand yeah it was the golden plates the real history and so yeah she was wanting to do more about uh, 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 she's wanting to do more about the coming forth of the the Book of Mormon more about the plates so she didn't really get much into it in her new video that was 26 minutes, which she considered to a long one. <laughs> okay. As I'm now at 35 minutes. <laughs> All right. So that's it for comment, Ribblize. It's now 2 o'clock. I don't want to go to bed because if I go to bed I'll miss my laundry but I may collapse anyway <laughs> so join the contest Mormons see if you can win and prove the church is true they'll make you a prophet